Hello everybody, it's Mick from Just the Bushcraft and uh, I'm filming this from inside my Citroen Bolingo. Um, it's the start of a new year and I've got a few ideas I want to uh, crack on with and one of them is adding some insulation to the interior of the van for when we're in uh, camper van mode. Now I've just removed that panel there which was what was covering that and you can see it's quite easily quite easy to take the panel off And you can see on the inside there is a thin layer of insulation on the inside but uh, behind the panel there's quite a lot of space that could be filled with um, that recycled plastic loft insulation the, the type that doesn't absorb, absorb the moisture uh, it's interesting to take these panels off because you get to get an understanding of what's going on behind uh, there is a vent there with little flaps, which I can. And there's, like, there's a vent here, which I can only assume the air flow goes in through there and it sort of drafts out through there. So that's quite good for uh, keeping um, keeping the moisture down inside the van, because um, there's a way for the moisture to, I don't know, just a draft flow, I suppose. I suppose it all adds. Uh, but yeah, I can add some of this um, insulation around here, making sure I don't cover that vent up. There's that area there, and up up inside there, again, not restricting the flow of air through this vent, uh, up around near the speaker. Um, I can add quite a bit of insulation there. But what, what I want to also do is cover these panels in that grey, sort of like this kind of stuff. Uh, the liner, the grey carpet liner stuff that everybody uses on camper vans. I intend to cover these panels and as you look around the van rather than one big panel there's lots of little panels that can be removed like this panel here will come off there's just a bolt inside there so that can come off you need to undo the seat belt uh, bolt and then that panel comes off so I can carpet that uh, there's this panel here which comes off so that could be carpeted there's this panel here around this going around the seat belt fixings that's just one panel so that can come off and um, this panel here obviously is where the vent is and the uh, where the uh, partial shelf fits in so I won't be carpeting that but what I might do is I might carpet this top half to just to along there and down and then across and up and round so there's that panel and then sort of cut around the speaker so that could be carpeted again I'll be doing this on both sides obviously so that's another separate panel and then all there is to do then is this back panel here where I've got my little switch to release the tailgate lock catch uh, this panel here could be done I could put insulation behind that uh, same again on the other side this one will be a little bit more tricky because I've got all these little bits and pieces but it's only plastic and it's it's just set in so I should be able to sort that uh, might have to do something with that same again the vent speaker um, so yeah that would be the whole interior of the living quarters of my camper conversion when it's in I've got the Andro conversion that fits inside here. Um, and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to be getting the Andro um, window storage units that fit in there. Uh, they bolt on that fixing and the fixing up there to secure them in they're really good they really fit really well very well made and very secure and it gives me a lot more 
because this void this window isn't used when I'm driving so there's a big void there so that's going to be filled with a uh, window storage unit one on both sides um, so yeah uh, the mod mod you top box whatever it's called here um, I do use it but the kids are getting a lot bigger now and when we're sat uh, when we've got the Andro set out in living mode with the table and chairs the mod your top gets in the way a bit gives it's reducing the roof space um so because i'm getting the storage units over here i'm not going to need this storage i'm going to have to move this camera rear view camera but uh, i'm going to remove that just to give you a bit more headroom So, uh, oh, and the other thing was the floor. Again, this is just a, this comes up dead easy. I might have to just remove this plastic trim, take that bolt, that bolt that holds the spare wheel underneath, undo that, take this plastic trim off, and then this will come up, and I might put some of that um, silver-backed bubble wrap, sort of the reflective style kind of stuff. See if I can put any of that underneath the carpet. Because with it being the Bolingo and probably the Persia Partner as well, this whole floor is flat. So um, I'm going to try and see if I can put some reflectix under there just for some added insulation. I don't know if it's going to make any difference or or not. I mean, you can see there that's the that's the floor of the the vehicle, and then it's just literally just carpet on top. It's not stuck down, so I should be able to get oh, it's down there. Um, yeah, I should be able to get some of that reflectors under there just to give it a bit more added insulation. So that's what I've got planned. Um, I've been doing quite a bit of research on lining the carpet, lining these panels, and uh, I've been on the Bilingo Peugeot Partner Camper Van Forum, which is excellent. Lots of helpful people on there. So if you've not been on there and you've got a Bilingo or a partner, you need to get yourself in that group because they're uh, they're a great bunch of people. Um, so yeah, that's my plans. So I need to get some of the carpet liner ordered and the spray spray glue, and uh, I'll just do it a panel at a time. Take me time, and uh, we'll see how it looks. And hopefully, we'll reduce a lot of this cold plastic fascias and uh, make it a bit more. You know a bit more homely a bit more cozy right that's what i'm up to so it's just a quick video give you an idea of what i'm going to be doing in the future um videos so i hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching if you've got any comments or you'd like to like and subscribe please feel free uh, we always look forward to your comments and uh, advice because uh, you know i'm not an expert at this i'm just learning like everybody else so yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.